It's a shame Obaseki brought ex-president Jonathan to commission secretary building already commissioned 50 years ago, Idaho House speaks. Ex-board of trustees, BOT member of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, former ally of Governor Godwin Obaseki, Honorable Charles Idahosa, yesterday picked holes on Wednesday commissioning of a state secretary building along Sapele Road in Benin City by former president, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan. He pointed out that the project was not a new one, but was built and commissioned in 1973 by the then governor of Midwest and later Bendel State, late Dr. Samuel Obemudia. Besides, he criticized Governor Godwin Obaseki's style of not disclosing costs and project details to the public. How can Governor Godwin Obaseki say he is commissioning a new secretariat? The secretariat was built and commissioned by Dr. Samuel Ogbemudia as military governor of Bendel State in 1973. There was a time part of it was gutted by fire and it was rebuilt. It is a shame that he brought former President Goodluck to come and commission a project that has already been commissioned about 50 years ago. I am shocked that they have allowed him to get away with everything he is doing because he is the governor. We have former governors here, we have former national chairman of parties here, and they just allow him to get away with whatever he is doing. Is this how things are done? There is one strange thing he also did. Look, Mwike and other governors, when he was governor of River State and now minister of the Federal Capital Territory, before a project is commissioned, you see the commissioner in charge of the project who will talk about the project and all that was done. You will see the contractor who will talk about the project. But in the case of Obaseki, there is nothing like that. Nobody knows the cost of the project. Nobody knows the contractor. Nobody knows the kind of work they did. But the truth of the matter is that there is no new project that Obaseki brought the former president to come and commission. It is unfortunate that this is a level that the state has degenerated to and nobody is talking or calling the governor to order, Idahosa lamented. He also condemned celebration, celebration regular he also condemned celebration of the regular payments of salaries by the state governor. I am shocked that a governor's payment of salaries of employees is now a new story that should be reported. Is it not his responsibility to pay the salaries of civil servants working in the state? When has payment of salary of civil servants become an achievement? Who is supposed to pay their salaries? Is it quite unfortunate, Ida Husa said. Well, um... True. Many of these things where governors them they do, we say we want to heal them for. If you ask me, these people they're not to be healed for because if you ask me, not their work. You see the things we be healing, we will come clap for them. Not because the bar of good governance has been reduced basically has been reduced to the barest minimum. Then go do road, you will clap for them. Then go pay salaries, go clap for them. You understand? Then go bring out some certain law. Those things, these people are in governance to do those things. But because we sparingly see those things being done by, you know, these people, we now assume that any one of them that does it is not the right person. Meanwhile, the person is only doing their job. Do you understand? True, true. This man, we see, this thing with this man talk, it makes sense. You're not supposed to be celebrating normal, normal. Who won't pay? Who won't pay these people money? Say that they are from their pocket and go pay themselves money. I see governor and go pay them. Okay, so I'm not going to know the building where they talk about. Eh? His child just waking up from sleep. We have no child, Honorable Dennis Idahosa. You wanted Governor Baseki to abandon the security like the talkative said Adam Sushemele did. We did do admire the feet. Ah, okay. Was that building like that 50 years ago? If the building is renovated and recommissioned, isn't, isn't, it isn't bad. This is policies of hatred. It is wrong. Is Governor Basaki lying claim on it? Laying claim on it. 
that he built it. Uh uh. Okay. Well. Uh, I just think if I didn't go get talk, I didn't go get mouth to answer this kind of talk because, you know, I don't know how long the beauty don't stand for the I don't know how the building be. You understand? Chance the whole side is going to be sick. Oh. Obas like is just looking for attention to boost his ego. His minimal wage is designed to punish the incoming administration because he knows that PDP will lose the next election in the state. What do you mean by the income minimum wage is to punish the next administration? So you mean say those states no fee generate but where they will pay their workers? No, maybe and tell me truth now. Say those states no go fee generate money they pay their workers. Why forcing people into matter that did not concern them? Why do you want people to talk? You that have mouth, continue talking now until you put you're put into prison for a legend of hate speech. Mahala. There is nothing wrong in this, please. Uh, like I said now, do people never give us the registers? They never come back said. How far we see nobody keep it, don't do for it. Apart from this building we in commission. We think don't do for now because I know say Salary, so you pay salary and you increase the money where using information reaching us now. Say, Obaseki, they pay workers 70k, you they pay workers 70,000. You know, they say, No, they pay them. I don't hear that thing. We done that since last month. I don't know the months we don't start to the pay. You understand? But to come as I tell me, say, They go feed them, go feed and food this thing. Then go feed and food. The little thing be said, other governors go one talk and into. Coming out to 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 reduce them all, you understand making no green. But this thing that to show you say then go feed do a million one to one. Do you understand? I see you as a hypocrite and you tell me one singular thing that is absolutely new in Nigeria. Have you ever renovated that house you built fifty years ago in your village or town? You mentioned BK. Let me ask you, the one certain commission that approved you through BK. Where there are no roads there before. At your age, you're supposed to be a role model, but I pity your condition. Oh. He renewed the secretary building, which were in very bad condition. So he did a good job and it's worthy of commissioning. A man that does not appreciate good things in others may hardly attract good things for himself. Mr. Ida Hosa, it is time to call a spade a spade. At your age, I am not happy when I see people insulting you. Let me tell you that there is always a sense in every sense. Please learn to pick out the sense. It is the only then a country can move forward, not this type of your politics. All right, so on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.